Jefferson in five years. The Wolves shut down St. Pius 10-3. And 2A Jefferson's Grant Scherf's ran for three scores, accounted for over 300 yards. The Dragons snapped Calhoun's 29-game winning streak. And the Chargers of Eagles Landing Christian Academy down at Prince Avenue. Grant <laughs> 33 <laughs> Hot, good stuff. Uh, today at the George Dome, arguably the most complete game for the Falcons all season long. Matt Ryan broke a pair of his own franchise records as he topped his club record for passing yards in a single season, and he also broke his own record for completions this season. On the defensive side of the ball, this play set the tone. Asante Samuel with the interception of Eli Manning on Manning's first pass attempt of the game. Afterwards, John Abraham told me quick starts ignite both sides of the ball. We tend to play better on defense or offense. You know, offense. Well, you just got Charlie Russell here. Nope, I followed him too. That's one thing I can ask you. I think he might get done. Alright, time to let Anthony catch his breath as we bring in former Falcons quarterback DJ Shockley to break down today's game. Now, you played under head coach Mike Smith down in Atlanta. What's he saying you guys following a loss, considering his teams are now 20 and 3 following a setback in week 4? I think the message is the same as far as what Schmidt says to the team. I think overall he has what's called a sharper focus as far as what he's saying. And guys have to go watch the field. They're a little bit more critical of what they're watching. And maybe after a win, you, you don't see everything. But after a loss, everything is blown up by proportion. So a sharper focus, especially after a loss. Right, two weeks ago against uh, Drew Brees, five interceptions. Today against Eli Manning and company, they force a shutout. First time New York has been shut out in the regular season since 1996. But a week ago, Cam Newton lit him up. So what did they do, I guess, two weeks ago against the Saints? And then today, they didn't do last week against Carolina. Well, a couple of things. One thing, they got turnovers. They got after Eli Manning. He was running around a lot. And also, when he threw a ball, they were all around the guys. You usually see guys missing tackles early in the season. They didn't do that tonight. They actually came out and they played really well. Tackle when they were there, made the plays. They could have interception. Uh, Eli Manning today, 8 of 16, DJ, 128 yards, and two interceptions.